Is that your happy dance because you're going to work? <laughs> I didn't start work today, but I'm getting the shop ready to open. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. But it's our first day, like, probably not together. So, it's kind of weird. You're like, see you later. Bye. <laughs> What do you think of that? I think your GoPro is socially distancing from your handlebar. It is. Two meters. Why? She's such a fucking robot. Conversation doesn't stand a chance. No idea what to do with her hands. Probably not eat and she doesn't have plans. So, big news here in the UK, you can now ride your bike with one other person from outside your household, as long as you keep your two meters away from each other. So I'm out with James today, riding a little bit of gravel, and uh, yeah, he hasn't ridden his bike in two weeks, so happy days. He's gonna smash it for now, and then like bonk disastrously in a, in a few minutes time. I had this comment recently, which was replying to someone else saying, don't buy a gravel bike, just use your Canyon AL whatever with 28 tires. This would be shit. <laughs> This would be sh you could. I mean, I, it, it's sketchy enough for me. I've got thick slicks. I've got 36 C slicks. On. Yeah, totally worth getting a gravel bike if yeah. you want to do gravel. You're not going to have a fun time on 28 mil slicks. And that's if your frame can even take 28 mil slicks. Most people road bikes don't even do that now. I remember once upon a time you saying that you don't need more than a 28 C slick. Technically, you don't. But in the UK, every gravel track turns into this mountain bike. <laughs> do we tell the viewers what's going on? I think we're lost. Yeah. Lost in the jungle. It's a bit like that day in Vietnam, isn't it? <laughs> Where a 50 mile ride turns into like a nine hour ordeal. Less dangerous here though. Yeah, there's no snakes and tigers. There's just badgers. Skunks. There, don't, oh, there are no skunks in this country. Really? Foxes. There's no skunks in this country? No. Really? Why are you putting on that funny squeaky voice? Because I'm a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mouse. <laughs> for two hours and we've done 20 miles <laughs> so we've got to Ramble Common and now deciding whether we should ride back off-road or on-road. Well we were supposed to come out of there yeah but we came out of there so yeah two hours in we'll stick to the road yeah road yeah. headwind So we just joined on to the Belgi route. Belgi route means pylon. It's on the Giro Cycles website. I know a few of you have asked. GiroCycles.com, uk. One of them. You're right. Oh, yeah, man. Hey, you got like, you got stuff on you. Is it sweat? No, it's like red. Oh, uh, I think it's rust. From you, like the Tin Man. Much, yeah. <laughs> the words out my mouth. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Three hours done. Pretty punchy. Time for a rest. All I ate for that whole ride was a shot block. I made a video about two days ago about eating properly. And I don't even take my own advice. We can now exercise as much as we want in the UK. So, we're on a walk. You're back from work. That was weird. Nice sunny day to work. I'm getting the cafe ready to be reopened. <gasps> Giro's coming back. Yeah, 26th of May, after bank holiday. That's what everyone's been waiting for. I'm excited. It's takeaway only, Monday to Friday, but starting from next Tuesday. It's one in, one out. Don't come in a group. If you are riding in pairs, like just make sure you're keeping your distance from people. Like we're gonna have all of the blocks set out. You know, really, we wanna be there for the community and we're gonna be 
having like fruit and veg boxes and hopefully bread maybe to sell as well and you can buy like our milk and stuff if you can't get to the shops or some Your basic milk. stuff like jamie's milk <laughs> Ugh, limited edition jamie's milk i just hope it's not like too stressful i would just hope people can respect the rules of it and make it enjoyable for us because i we don't want it to be like us telling people off all the time. So come have a coffee and say hi. You don't want to see her angry, guys. <coughs> but all within a two metre distance, obviously. Yeah. So there you go. Giro Cycles, open from Tuesday. Be sensible, follow the rules. Don't make life hard for these guys, but do go and buy a coffee because it's really good coffee. So you drink Sainsbury's coffee. <laughs> Francis hates special. Hey, rumour has it it's even better than Sainsbury's cafetiere coffee, which is my favourite uh, coffee in the world. Uh, they can sponsor me. Oh, we've got an in because Tim works at Sainsbury's. Shop's time, we've run out of food again. Gone through food pretty quickly. Especially considering I've been eating hool or fake hool. I've been eating the my protein version of it uh, for breakfast because I've been getting up so early. And I struggle getting food down early in the morning, so I thought I'd get that powdered stuff and just try it out. And I feel really good. Not to replace all food, but pre-ride and after a ride as well as a recovery drink. So good. So what are we getting? Rice cakes. Corn cake. Fish and a rice cake. <laughs> Daisy's been eating what she thought was rice cakes for the last two months and she keeps asking me to go and get them and I can never find them and it's because they're not rice cakes they're corn cakes oh that's why there's sweet corn on the packet <laughs> it's reaching the point where I might shave it all off I don't want to get a haircut and it'd be a bad haircut but how bad can it be if you just shave it all off you should be so proud of me why look at the shop why? How much better is it going late in the day though yeah there's no one in there top tip actually no we shouldn't tell the vlog because then everyone will go later that's a lot of naan bread. Carb loading. What should we do now? Sit and eat food. Sounds like a good plan to me. Go on Zwift. Oh fuck nah. <laughs> So I realized I showed you my new GoPro setup this morning and then didn't explain anything about it whatsoever. Basically, I've invented a new type of GoPro mount, which is a GoPro on a stick. All right, I just attached it to a stick. But having the GoPro a little bit higher up means it doesn't look the same as every other bit of GoPro footage in the world. You wouldn't think the difference in camera angle would be that much from it being under the stem and it being there, but it really does make a huge difference. I mean, you can see it in the footage from today's video. When I use the GoPro footage, I want it to look kind of like it's coming from my eyes. So I want it to be even higher than that. And while the stabilization is fantastic in this GoPro Hero 7, it's got like in-body digital stabilization. It does struggle a little bit when you're on the gravel and you're moving around a lot. And then this thing has made it slightly worse. It vibrates a bit. So there are snippets of good footage, but there's also a lot of really good technical bits of descent that I had to leave out because it's just not usable. So what I've done is killed two birds with one stone. I've just ordered a mini gimbal, which has been discontinued, unfortunately, but I managed to find one on eBay. It's called a Slick GoPro gimbal. I don't think they're making them anymore, but it has a normal GoPro mount on the bottom, so you can stick it on anything that would usually take a GoPro, and it will elevate the GoPro slightly higher, so maybe 10 centimeters more on top of this mount, but on top of that, then you've got the digital stabilization from the GoPro and the actual real physical stabilization from the gimbal, and it just gives you amazing silky smooth footage. I hope. I guess we'll have to see what happens when it turns up, but an interesting experiment, another one of my lockdown ideas. Mm -hmm.